In this video, I want to talk about the purchase process for the FileMaker platform. Now, first off, it's important to note that starting in 2020, FileMaker is not shipping big annual releases anymore. Their last big annual release was May of 2020. Going forward, you'll see what we call rolling releases, which means that every three or four months, you're going to get an update to the FileMaker applications. So I had a great question from one of our video watchers, Greg, who asked, how do I buy this? Because I've been buying, you know, years ago, boxes of software, and then we would buy it every year annually. So we had that release. Well, Claris has done a couple interesting things. First off, they don't itemize products to buy individually. Basically, for almost everyone out there, you're going to buy the number of licenses that you need for your team. So if you have five people on a team or eight people or 20 or 30 people on the team, you're simply going to pay for that number of people and all those people get all the products. That's the first important thing. Now, if you are just a person who wants their own single copy of FileMaker Pro, you can still purchase that from Claris's website, or you can get a copy of FileMaker Pro as part of our annual training bundle package. It's a subscription that we sell, and you can find that at fmtraining.tv. So, of course, Greg asked me a follow-on question, which is, I have been buying FileMaker for years, Years ago, it was a box product. Then it was this annual release. And so I knew that I would buy it every May or June. And I had that latest version. And of course, if they're going to this rolling release schedule, what do we do? Strictly speaking, FileMaker's licensing strategy doesn't revolve around releases anymore at all. When you buy FileMaker, you're going to buy an annual subscription or you're going to buy a perpetual license. In both cases, you're getting a FileMaker license that gets free updates for one year. So as you can see right here, if we buy it, first part of May, then we get to use FileMaker for the rest of the year and up through first part of May next year. Now, if you just buy the annual subscription, you're going to save a lot of money, but you need to renew at this point right here. If you have a perpetual license, that means that you can leave FileMaker installed, but you're not going to get any more updates at all, which means that the updates that come out every three or four months, you're not going to have. So my recommendation is keeping up to date with the maintenance if you're doing a perpetual release or just simply renew your annual subscription. So FileMaker really isn't selling version 18 or version 19, or maybe someday they have a version they call FileMaker 2021, for example. The point is, is that when you buy it, you get the current release and you get all the maintenance updates for one year. Just remember, if you buy the less expensive annual subscription, you really need to renew every year or uninstall the software. If you buy the more expensive perpetual license, you only get one year of updates, but then after that one year, you don't have to uninstall the software. But for those of you who go down the road of Perpetual, I highly recommend that you pay a maintenance fee, which allows you to continue to get the free updates for additional years. So hopefully that answers your questions about buying the FileMaker platform and how it might be affected by the rolling release schedule. Really, at the end of the day, it doesn't affect it at all because this is the same way FileMaker has been selling product for the last several years. So if you have additional questions about this, I recommend you reach out to our sales team at support at RC Consulting, and we can help answer your questions.